Hello, this is Swayable Luck with Varductions, and I will be showing you how to host a Minecraft server without the use of Machi. And this this would be for purposes other than just like your typical LAN party, most likely, um, because and the ideal situation you would have a dedicated server computer, uh, and with this method you could you could potentially host hundreds of people at the same time now that's assuming you have a really good server computer probably but uh yeah so this is for the more uh i really want to be a server whore people <laughs> uh so i'll i guess i'll go ahead and get started and let's open up command prompt uh, you're going to want to type in ipconfig, which we did in the last video of how to create the server. Download all the necessary files and such. So if you are still lost on that part, we do have a video on that. Go ahead and check it out. Um, and you're going to want to find the default gateway. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up our preferred internet browser. Google Chrome is... a uh, obviously the best but <coughs> you didn't hear that from me uh... so let's type in whatever that default gateway was i've typed it in before obviously so let's go ahead and alright and uh... you're gonna have to find out whatever the username and password is uh... there is a default for routers uh... so y you might have to shuffle through your manual or something or i believe sometimes they are located on somewhere on the router itself too uh... and if all else fails hey google is probably my best friend other than well my best friend but uh... for linksys routers i believe usually the default password is just admin there's no username or anything it's just admin right and once you get here you'll want to go to wherever you can uh... mess around with your ports and such which in my case is applications and gaming and then single port forwarding um... And you're going to want to open a port for, which I have already done. So I'm making sure enable this check over here. Now, it'll be different for different brands, but it should be fairly similar to this. So if don't freak out if you have a Belkin router instead of a Linksys, you should be able to navigate uh, your way through it all with doing generally the same thing. Uh, and then you're going to want to select whatever IP address uh, that you want to port to, which in my case is the IP address of the server, uh, well, my personal computer, which I'm using as a server, and uh, you're going to want to find what uh, your Minecraft server has specified as the port, which by default is 25565. I'm pretty sure, but there's a chance that it might have gotten changed somewhere along the way. Uh, so you'll want to open up the server properties file, which you can just open up with Notepad, and find where it says server port, and just copy and paste this into here if it's not 25565. And then name it whatever the application is, in this case, Minecraft, and save the settings. There we go. Now you're going to want to jot down um, two pieces of information. You're going to want to jot down that port that we just got. And we are also going to want to find our public IP address. Uh, I am not going to do everything step by step in this case because I don't want everybody to know my public IP address. But you can just Google public IP address. Uh, honestly, you just hit that and Google will give you just immediately. You won't even have to click on the link. It'll just show right at the top your public IP address. Honestly, Google's my favorite thing in the world and they can do so many things, it's not even funny. Like, do a, actually, it's quite funny. Do a barrel roll. 
Whee. Yes, so uh, enough me uh, ranting about how I love Google. Um, let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. Right, log in, and you should have collected your public IP address earlier. Uh, you may have to do a double take since I got distracted with Star Fox references, but uh, let's go ahead and get that information, the port and the public IP address, and you're going to want to give that information to whoever is trying to connect to your, con uh, to your server. Now, they will go to wherever they're going to uh, connect to the server, so of course they, they could add it to their servers that they constantly go to or whatever, but for the purpose of this example, I'm just going to go to direct connect. Uh, and they will enter public IP address. Okay, not that exact. Imagine that this is actually the numbers that you collected from Google or whatever random website earlier. Uh, and then you'll put a column and you'll put the port number, which in my case is 25565. Uh, and going to click join server uh, now obviously since I don't have a valid IP address in there that's that's not gonna work but um, oh, you you didn't see that piracy is very bad kids don't do it companies will get mad at you and start making ridiculous bills to stop it um, okay yeah so that should be all the information that you need to start your own Minecraft server uh, there is a method that you could try to kind of use to troubleshoot if it does not work, which would be to try to ping the IP address that you are entering into Minecraft. Um, so take your friend's public IP address or give him yours or whatever, and or her, sorry for t unintentionally discriminating. Um, and you're going to type ping and you're going to type whatever the public IP address is. Um, so for the purpose of this example, I'm just going to use my local IP address, but uh, you should get results somewhere along the lines of this, saying that you got a reply from the specific IP address of a package of 32 bytes and a time less than Okay, well, I'm pinging myself, so in this case, I got a time less than one millisecond. Uh, and you can go ahead and check down here and make sure that all of the packages were both sent and received. If that is the case, and your Minecraft server is not working for whatever reason, if you can't connect to a friend's, or if a friend can't connect to yours, you probably should just completely restart the whole process of creating your server and uh, just hope it works the second time because uh, I really don't know uh, I don't have a one-size-fits-all piece of advice for you uh, so yeah that's I, I hope that this covered enough information I once again apologize for having to vaguely go over that public IP address part, but I really do not want everybody in the world to be able to remotely access my computer. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that that's really all I can offer for you. Uh, I hope this helped, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe, please, and have a good day. This is Swayable Luck, signing off.